I'm Nathan Wilson. Um, I'm an ECE student here at NC State. Um, for our senior project, I, along with Mark Drells and Patrick, Patrick Bowen, worked on software radio for network channel measurement. And what we're interested in, in both the ECE and physics departments, is analyzing how Wi-Fi signals and microwave signals in general uh, reflect, diffract, and sc scatter in a complex environment. So what we are doing for research purposes um, is setting up a transceiver node network. And here we have a prototype of such a network. Uh, consisted of two PCs, each of which is hooked up to a yes, USB. So if I were to start um, a Python script here, the node.py script, what it will show to you is um, four signals. Uh, it, each signal corresponds to a complex frequency, and two um, signal, two frequencies are each allocated to a channel. And right now, I am um, transmitting on channel C. So, as you'll see up here, channel C ha has um, a power around 20 decibels, whereas here we're about at the noise floor for channel 1's frequencies. So, if I were to go over here on the network that's running a, um, a node radio program, it will, once I log in here, it will then register, once I start this over here, you'll soon see the transmission um, go up to about where mine is, and actually it's a little higher than mine right now. So you'll now see that um, this over there is now transmitting to me. And if I were to, um, there are ways where you can um, interfere or otherwise change the uh, in the uh, power of the waveforms that you're receiving right now. So, for example, I could, in some cases, affect slightly how the um, signal is affected by each. Yeah, so, for example, the other channel has gone down a bit due to reflection because microwave channels reflect well off of surfaces. So if we were to take this to a bigger picture, for example here on the poster, a bonnet is a vehicular ad hoc network. So it consists of several peers in a mobile highway environment and each um, that would be like communicating with roadside base station. So this um, signal signal that traverses from peer to peer that's routed among these could be interfered with by neighboring um, cars and other vehicles. And we're also interested in a more generic sense on how microwave signals are affected in a complex environment. A single surface can reflect or di um, corn at corners you'll see diffraction of signals. And, but in a more complex environment, it becomes much harder to model. So by collecting data over time, we become better at modeling complex interferences and scattering of, of um, electromagnetic waves and use that to make better um, receivers. And finally, I just want to show you this. This is an example of actual data that we have logged because using these GPS modules here, you're able to concurrently log location data. So here it's showing the um, path that a car has taken, and here along with um, signal data. So this is reception from a, world si from a base station that we had like on the side, and this is the um, signal being transmitted by a mobile node that was going around the Centennial parking deck when we were testing it out. And this runs at a much higher rate than the demo I was showing. So we have to deal with um, issues of concurrency and having a higher throughput. And that in what is the project that we're working on.